Hey guys, what's going on? It's Dave from Monetary Ocean, and today I'm going to talk to you guys about Keepa for beginners. So Keepa is a program, it's a web application that is used to track prices on Amazon and then show you uh, the deals and discounts as they go on like discount or like so you can track like the pricing history. So you can either go to like Keepa.com or you can buy or not buy, you can get their Keepa web application or their uh, Chrome extension. So that's a free download. So, you know, you go to this site. Um, I'm going to show you guys just a little bit, a brief overview of the actual site, but I'm not going to dive too deep into this stuff over here. So, like I said, you can mess around with that kind of stuff. And the general basis of this is reading graphs. So I'm going to explain some different things about graphs. So for one, we've got Amazon which is this like shaded in area that means that they hold like that's their price and that they have stock if, it, if you see it shaded in like this that means they're they're holding stock uh, you'll see at this bottom right here you won't see it ori originally so go ahead and click more historical data so that'll open up and this will show you the actual offer count so that means how many people are selling it how many offers there are so this isn't a great example I'm showing you you guys but um, we can see a lot of information from it so we can see the new which is at one point there were multiple offers so this is what the other new price was also Amazon if you see this line go by the new line the purple one because Amazon might have their price up here like you see the list price and the Amazon price but then they might have a price down here which means this is what they're comparing their price to so it'll put like originally 5294 but it's now 46.99 so that way they can show you it's a great deal or whatever you know so another option or another thing we have here is the sales rank so as you guys might know sales rank is determined lowest sales rank is selling the most so basically as it's the lower it is the more it's selling so as we can see right here I'm gonna go all the way out as we can see right here it's not really going down at all it's only going up so we see at this one spot right here where it actually goes down this means an item was sold so that is something you should keep an eye on if you're reading these graphs if you see something right here and it's 300 sales rank and sixty dollars then you're like oh it's a good item but if you didn't see this other part of the sales rank where it's not actually moving for a long period of time you're gonna see okay never mind it's not a great item to buy so let's go to some different examples and I'll show you some errors that I made while I was selling with two items. So here's actually a good example of, you know, just reading the graph. So I'm going to zoom out. And as we can see right here, this is a really, really low sales rank, under 1,000 for the most part. That is pretty well. So uh, some more options. We have the lightning deals over here. So you can see, okay, right here, uh, it's consistently, let's see boom boom like pretty much once a week it's going on a lightning deal so you might see that and be like okay I want to buy this item but now I don't want to buy it for $69.99 I want to buy it for $52.99 or $49 so that is a good time to use this tracking option and it'll alert you when the deal is going on or you can just go back and manually look for it if you know so look it's it looks to be about a one week process give or take so one week goes by go ahead and check that you know whatever and buy it for the lower price and then sell it for the higher price but but this example this is some basic supply and demand economics right here so as I told you guys before Amazon has this shaded in area so you see it goes away right here that means they ran out of stock well if you look down here so it says three offers so that means there's a couple of their offers and it goes down to one offer but if you see up here the price goes from the 69.99 and it jumps all the way up to 145 dollars so someone took advantage of the lack of supply and cranked up the price because they were the only one with the supply and as you can see it sold for a little bit and then as they sold out no one else had it the sales rank goes up and up and up with the, these little drops right here, I don't know if there was just like momentary inventory, like one person had it or something, but it's not tracked down here, so I can't 
really speak too much on it. But then Amazon gets it back in stock and then all is good again. So here's another example of something if you're out scouting for items or books in this case, you might find and if you aren't paying attention, you, if you have an app or something, it might hit on uh, on a buy. So it might tell you to buy. So if you can tell right here, this is a Encyclopedia of Pharmacology. So this is an extremely expensive book, as you can see, used for $430. So if you are scouting at this date and you see a book, which books can go, I usually buy books for $2 million and under. So if you had a book that you find for five hundred or 400000 sales rank on sale for $100, let's say, and it's selling for $400, you're not even going to think twice and you're going to buy that, most likely. But if you look at these sales charts, you're going to see that this book was riding at almost like $2 million for the longest time. This is from January, so almost a whole year with one sale. So that's an instant uh, put that thing back on the shelf and go find some other books. So here's an example of one of the failures I made when I first started out selling. So I was looking at this game, I found it out of Walgreens, and you know, I was scouting in this area right here. So Amazon had run out of stock and the this was on sale after my discounts and stuff I had. It was uh, t about $10 after tax. So I'm shopping at this area right here where it's at new for $38. And at this time, I was just using the Amazon seller app. So I see that, and you know, that's a healthy, healthy profit. So I'm like, okay, obviously, I'm going to buy it up. So I spent the whole day going to every single Walgreens in the area, and it was probably about five or six of them, and bought out all their stock. And, you know, I was so happy. I was like, man, I'm going to make a bunch of money. I, you know, I'm still kind of new to Amazon, so this is going to be awesome to just be able to make all these flips. Well, as you can see right here, they came back in stock, and they're down to eleven ninety nine. So obviously I'm bummed out. But, you know, I got really lucky because I didn't realize I wasn't in the know about Q4 yet. So let's take a look over here. So the price goes down for Black Friday or whatever. I changed my price. I lowered my price so that I would make like a dollar or so. So I could actually sell the product. But I didn't really think about it because I had other fish to fry. So I see around this time one of the books sells, or one of these sell, you know, right around here after Amazon sells out. I wasn't paying attention, like I said. And I see one of them sell, and I'm like, hmm, that's weird. And I see another one sell, and I look back, and I see that I'm like the lowest prime offer. So here's what I do right here. Boom, crank my price up to twenty three ninety five, which is like five cents under the lowest seller. And instantly sell out as you can tell right here I sold out and then everyone else sold out for a good second and then people came back in these chumps didn't know about it so they went to 1777 and it's at a current of 2669 but I had sold out all the box all the games I had and made a decent profit considering how much I had paid in uh, long-term store or in storage fees and stuff like that which I had it all calculated out so I did break even or I did make a profit on this actually so you know that's just one thing you gotta pay attention to is the actual like supply and demand of Q4 so as you can see around this time period that's October so around here and early January the price when Amazon sells out you know it's a it's the wild west so you can sell it for whatever you want here's one last example of just basic supply and demand so as let's just take a look at this bottom part right here so we can see that the offer count is going up 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 so that means there's a lot more competition so let's go ahead and check up here so we can see Amazon has this thing where it automatically will reprice it for lower than the lowest person if someone tries to undercut Amazon they're not happy about that so they just they will undercut it all the way down to the bottom like they will lose money just to be the person to sell the item so this can you know hurt them but at the same time if they run out of stock real quick like I said it's the Wild West we can just sell it for higher than they were selling it and even what we were intending to sell it for once they're out of stock so you know you can't always bank on that but as you can see right here the Amazon price and the new price they drop they start going down as the more offers come in. 
So what that indicates to me is that people were trying to undercut Amazon. And you can tell right here, more specifically, like because they were they're modifying their prices to squeeze every single penny out. So as you can see, offers go down, their price goes up, offers go up, their price goes down. You know, you just kind of have to read these things. If you don't know, like just basic economics with supply demand and, you know, how that kind of stuff works, I would recommend looking into it, just getting some basic knowledge because it does apply to this extremely. So, you know, that's all. I just wanted to show you guys just a basic little introduction to reading graphs. I would recommend going to Keepa.com and just kind of like poking around and just seeing what you can find. And, you know, you'll learn a lot just spending an hour, two hours just reading graphs, and it will extremely be helpful to you in the future. So thanks for tuning in, guys. This is Dave from Monetary Ocean. Don't wait around. Dive in. I'll see you guys on the next one.